Hey guys, it's Linux Next here. In today's video, I want to do a redo of the video that I just posted before, which was about Xdefiant on Linux and how to set that up, as uh, some of the uh, contributors and just the community of Linux was able to figure out the problems uh, with the performance being so low, and I just wanted to show you guys how to do that. So with the other video, I was doing uh, bottles, but for this one, we're going to do Hero Heroic Games Launcher, as this is just a little bit easier to enable certain things like Navi, um, API and then also uh, some environment variables to enable on NVIDIA hardware so you can get that working. So you just want to grab Heroic from you know, your store and then after that you want to create a custom application for the Ubisoft Connect app. And to create the application for the Ubisoft Connect we can just click add game and then we can name the title which would be just Ubisoft Connect and then it should also just like grab the image for Ubisoft Connect which is pretty cool that it's able to do that. And then we want to grab the executable so if we go to our downloads, I do have the Ubisoft Connect installer. So you want to go grab that on the Ubisoft website. And then we just want to click this. We want to run the installer first. And after it runs through it, then you want to click finish. And then you should be able to have this shortcut here where you can easily launch it. Now, before launching it, uh, we can use WineGE 826. So you just want to grab the latest one through the Wine Manager here. We can just download it. And after that, we want to, you know, go to Wine. Click on here to use 826. And then the next thing for AMD cards is in NVIDIA is we need to enable the Navi API or NV API uh, so that the game can actually perform well on both AMD and NVIDIA. So you just want to tick this and it will enable everything uh, properly for you. And then one of the issues that you may deal with when trying to play X Define is that when you get into a match, it crashes. So what you have to do is install the uh, PDH dependency. It will just be called PDH and you can just click it and uh, Heroic will install it for you. So after that is done, uh, if you're an AMD user, either be like you're on a Steam Deck or, or you're on Linux desktop, that's it. You can just uh, click play on Ubisoft, install X Defiant and play the game. But if you are a NVIDIA user, which probably the majority of you are, you do have to enable some environment variables to basically trick uh, the game into thinking that you have a AMD GPU. So the first one, and I'll link this down below so you can just like copy and paste basically, is we need to change uh, a DXVK config. So we want to go to the left here and we want to do dxvk underscore config in caps. And then we want to use uh, this variable here. Now, personally, I don't know what this actually does. I know it's uh, something to do with dxgi. So basically it's trying to change some change something in the dxvk config file so that the game can I don't know, detect something properly with the NVIDIA card. And then you just want to hit the plus icon here. You got to make sure that you do have these quotation marks uh, on here. And then the next one we can do is a wine DLL override. So you just want to do wine dll overrides all in caps and then do this one here which is amd underscore ags underscore x64 equals b you just want to hit plus on that and that should be it uh, you should be able to launch the ubisoft connect app and then install x defiant and then it uh, should perform well now in the future you may not need to do this as i know uh glorious Agro will probably push out a proton ge update you can just use that and that will have everything enabled for you and you won't have to muck around with this stuff you may only have to enable uh, the NV API still, but when when it comes to those NVIDIA uh, variables, I don't think you won't have to use those in the future. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, the game did jump to like 600 FPS, which is uh, pretty nice, honestly, because before I was only getting like 50 FPS, which is um, stupid that it, it, I was having some issue. All right, now as you can see here, we're now in a game and as you can see, my GPU is being actually utilized. We're getting like 300 FPS ish and that's it. We can now just like enjoy the game as it should on Linux, which is pretty damn cool. There you go. Here's some more gameplay of it uh, working really well. So if you guys did enjoy uh, this video for today, you definitely can give it a like. You definitely can subscribe to the channel if you want to. Uh, now we hit like over 4,000 subscribers. Uh, I think it was like couple weeks ago, like a week ago or something like that. Yeah, I do thank you. I'm just concentrating a bit too much right now on this game. Uh, but yeah, also uh, thank you to my supporters as well. I'll show up a screenshot of them. I really do appreciate you guys uh, every month or so. You guys do give me uh, some uh, money, which is awesome. And I think that does it for this video. Uh, I don't know if, if there's any other issues you guys have. You definitely can comment down below. I'll try to um, see if there's any... Uh, updates with other issues that may appear with the game. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.